Chef Buck here, and today we're going to cook up some kale. Some what? Kale in a kale soup. Cause I got a big bag of kale. Triple washed for my protection. Cause it's got big flavor. Too much flavor, some people think, or too much texture. Cause kale is an aggressive green. We like raw kale in salads. You know, you can just massage it with a little bit of salt and that way you can eat it raw and it's kind of uh, not, as, um, not as big of a smack in the face. But you get a lot of great nutrition from kale. So we're gonna cook a little bit of the nutrition out into our soup, but it'll still be a big vat of lovely healthiness. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a pot, boom, big, pot. big enough to cook our soup on. So I get my pot down here on my heat, and I'm gonna throw me in a little light olive oil. I'm gonna put this much oil in my pot, because the first thing we're gonna do is saute up some of the ingredients to go in our soup. And I got different sizes. You know, I love a soup or stew with different sized ingredients. You know, it makes it more rustic and the ingredients will behave differently the more they cook. Like here I got a sweet potato. You know, I've chopped up some of it up kind of fine because I want it to dissolve in the soup a little bit. I want it to help act as a thickener in the soup. But then I also want some big chunky chunks. And since the sweet potato is orange, I went ahead and added an orange carrot. We just had one in the fridge. But... You know, that's not, that's not too bright an idea, but it will have a different texture and some different nutrition. And now sweetness. Here, and sweetness, that's true. And here with the onion, I've also chopped it up into some different sizes. You know, that way we'll have different mouthfeel, which is, I'm always disappointed when I use that term. But you know, these will cook up differently and it'll make the soup more interesting. And then a little bit of garlic. So let me throw some of this onion in here. Boom, boom, boom. Then I'll throw my garlic in here as well. Let's get these ingredients coated in oil and just give it about a minute's head start. Now this is all of the seasoning that I'm going to use. Now you can use whatever kind of seasoning you like. You know, you can go light on the seasoning, you know, to enhance the natural flavors of the ingredients you're using. Or you can spice it up, you know, you can go hog wild, whatever you want to do. Now normally I would have a whole bunch of different seasonings on here, but uh, Camera Girl is going to make some gumbo. This stuff has already got salt, chili powder, cayenne pepper, black pepper, garlic salt. So this already has a lot of seasoning in there. So I'm just going to use this. So I'll throw my seasoning in here now, and with my onion and garlic. And I've got my heat on medium, but you can adjust the heat as you need to. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw my other ingredients in here. My little dinky potatoes, my big hunks of chunks of potato. This is just a little sweet potato. Now I thought about throwing some turnip in here because we've got some turnip as well. You can use any kind of uh, bulbous type thingamabobs you want. Or if you like, you can put a can of beans in there. Something starchy to bulk your soup up. And then some carrots. Get it all mixed together. You could add some corn for sweetness and color. Yeah, you could definitely add some corn. There's nothing that you can't add in here. I'm only calling this kale soup because we got so much kale. There's going to be no hiding from the kale. And a lot of people do want to hide from kale. Kale can be very intimidating. So if you're scared of kale, if you're as scared of kale, then you know, kind of punishing it in some hot water will tame it and make it less fearsome. Now you could just add you a little bit of water in here if you like. I'm gonna throw a little bit of chicken broth. Camera Girl made this broth. We bought a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store because we like to get those because they're convenient. You know, and then we just uh, break all the meat apart and then we use it in sandwiches and omelets and in wraps and whatnot. She took the leftovers from our rotisserie chicken, kind of boiled it up and made a broth. So that's a great way to use uh, your rotisserie chicken. And I'll turn my heat up a little bit and bring it to a bubble. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my big bag of kale. And I'm just throwing the whole thing in here. Look at what? And look at this here. Calcium, iron, potassium, magnesium. Look at these vitamins. Look at this here. I'm getting powerful, more powerful just standing next to this kale. Don't hurt yourself. As long as I can hold that pose. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up. Let these greens soften up and wilt. And while I'm waiting for that, I will go run around the block because today's healthy day. And then donut for breakfast? 
That donut I had for breakfast was, that was a different me. That was another time. Ah, this ah. is the new me. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. All right, it's been a couple of minutes and it looks like I can stir my pot now without making too much of a disaster. Look how vibrant those greens look. All the colors, that orange just pops. Now orange is a great ingredient to add into a kale soup for sure. So I got a little bit of broth in here. Now I'm gonna add some water to cover everything up. And I don't wanna to add too much water because these veggies are gonna release water as well. You know, and I can always add more later if I want to. So be conservative starting out. So I'm gonna turn it up on a high. Let it come to a boil. Dun, dun, dun. Alrighty, it's starting to bubble away. So I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the heat down to medium low. And we'll cover it up and we'll let it simmer for about a half hour. Then we'll take a look at it. See you then. Beep, 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 beep. Watch out for the steamy steam. Let's see, my stuff should be pretty soft, and it is. Our potato will fall apart a little bit, and hopefully those little pieces of potato too, and it'll add some creaminess to the soup. So if stuff falls apart a little bit, that's good. But you know, if you really wanted it creamy, you could get a hand blender and give it a little How's it go? Let me see if I can give it a taste of Rooney without burning my tongue too much. I think that's enough. I'm not going to put any more seasoning in there at all. That chicken broth added a lot of flavor. But I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Then I'm going to cover it back up. So let's let it sit and mellow out on the stove there a little bit. Let those flavors come together like a community. Look how healthy we're being. What do you think, camera girl? Not just that. It's delicious. Huh? Kitty cat wants some kale? I don't think so. Kale ain't for cats. But if you want to take a look at this kale recipe, you know, a written recipe, I'll have a link down below. It'll take you over to myfoodchannel.com. You can check out all our recipes over there. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing. Giving it a thumbs up. <laughs> this cat's getting aggressive. Hold on, what are you doing? That cat can't be in the video. We'll have to blur the cat out like he's in the witness protection program or something. <laughs>